All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorry for the late upload last night and how long that video was. I was trying to do everything in one video, but I should have probably just split that up and made it shorter because I kind of went through the same thing of going through the three ways, which I already went through before. So um, today I already made up the three way switches. I'm just gonna do the four way switch. So this video will be super short. I also did the power whip already as well. Um, connected that to the 14.2 Romex. So that will be ready to go. So today I will just be showing you how to install the four-way switch um, and that will be it. So let me get a little bit closer and we'll be ready to go. All right guys, so I have the four-way switch here in my hand. As you can tell, there is two sets of screws, two gold screws and two black screws. Um, and on the back, you can see here, it does say an input and an output. Um, so I'm pretty sure that that matters. So I'm also going to be testing that to make sure. Um, but right now, um, I'm pretty sure as you can see by the arrows, put one set of, um, three wires. So the two travelers from one Romex on one side and the other two travelers from the other Romex on the other side, on the other set of screws. So I'm going to do it right the first time. I don't think I've ever really troubleshooted a four way switch. So. I'm gonna kind of learn through this video and show you guys as well. Um, so I'm gonna hook this up the right way first and then I'm gonna hook it up the wrong way and also include that in this video so you guys can see what happens um, if you do it wrong. So first of all, let's go ahead and do it right. And so you're just gonna start out as always by pulling the wire out of your box. So, and you might want to, like I said, in last night's video or this morning's video, but um, I said to twist your travelers together and you might just want to twist one set if um, if this matters, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm gonna double check here real quick, but it says input and output. So I'm assuming your input is coming from the power side. Um, so this will be my left wire here with the power and then out, output wire is gonna be going to my other three-way switch. So those will go on the output switch. Um, so I'll do it right the first time and then I will um, switch these wires and put these, um, the output wires on the input and see what happens, if it'll still work or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it the right way first, assuming that that's the right way. Um, so I'm just going to cut these wires down a little bit and then um, go ahead and strip them and curl them and all that good stuff. So let me just set that down right in there. And then go ahead and strip these out. And these are going to be on screws themselves. So I will have to curl them. This is gonna be a really long one. Maybe, maybe not. There's one set. Show sure others for the trucks driving by. And like I said, I am really liking these strippers so far. The only reason this is semi-difficult is because these wires are already like curled and bent, so they're not coming off as well. But as you can see, super easy to work with, and that did just fell out, so. Now we have a problem. Let me redo this one here real quick. That's my bad. Okay, so first, I'm gonna go with the ground. And I like to crimp it a little bit so it's nice and tight and it won't fall off. So once again, going with the input wires on the um, input wires on the black screws. So it doesn't matter which side goes to which. Um, black, black wire on black screw or red wire on black screw. Either if I put the red wire on that side or the black wire on this side, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna tighten those down. And then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And I usually like to keep them the same, I think. Um, I haven't done four-way switches in a really long time. Probably like two or three years since my last video. Um, so a little bit of a refresher for me, but keep the reds on the red side, the blacks on the black side. So there we go. I'm not gonna screw this in quite yet. Like I said, I haven't really, um, haven't really um, troubleshooted four-ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
plug this in, power it up, and then do a quick little test. And then in the next other videos, I will explain how all this works. Um, and then also do a, another line diagram on the whiteboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in really quick and then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so going ahead and plugging this into my extension cord right here. Granted that nothing is touching and you guys gonna blow up. It's gonna work. So there you go, you have it working right there. Um, a quick little demonstration. So um, just pretend that the four-way switch isn't there. It's gonna norm operate normally as two three-way switches. So it's gonna work on one side and then work on the other side and then reverse like that. So the three-way works, but the four-way is also another switch option right there. So like I said, I'm not sure exactly how to test this. Maybe it's just you do like a three-way switch on one side and three-way switch test on the other side. So maybe everything works perfectly, but so like it should right now, granted that I did it right uh, with the input and out the output. So it looks like everything is working perfectly. If I did the test correct, I've never done really a hot check test on a four-way. So on the three-way, like you just saw, you turn one side on and the other side off and then re reverse it. And so that's how you check a three-way. But on the four-way, I um, haven't really done that. I would assume it's just the way that I did it but maybe someone can let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna go ahead and reverse these sets of wires. So the input and the output, I'm gonna reverse those on the screws here real quick and then test it again. And I'm assuming that something won't work when one of the switches is in the other position. So let's double check that real quick and then this information will help you out. All right, so I went ahead and switched that around. And now my assumption, thinking out loud here, either it's gonna work normally, everything's gonna work the same as it did in the first clip that you just saw, everything worked, or nothing is gonna work at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, and we're gonna find out together what happens if you flip the wires around. So as you can see, that works, that still works, that works, that works, that works, that works, that works. So it looks like it doesn't matter on the input and the output, it's just interrupting the three-way. So the power is gonna be on one side and then coming out on the other side. Um, and then it's basically gonna be like a normal single pull switch. Not exactly because it does something different, but in the same way that a single pull switch that has power on one side and the switch leg on the other side, is just connecting the two wires. When you hit the switch, it just, it just connects the power and touches them together and then makes it work again. So. In the same way, it doesn't really matter, at least on this switch, maybe different switches are different. Um, maybe some switches are more uh, one-way sided, but this one does not seem to matter. As you can see here, every side works. And then once again, I can do it on that side, on that side. So everything still works as normal. So with this switch here, it does not matter the direction of um, the input and the output wires. You basically just land one set of wires, one set of travelers on the black screws on the bottom, and then another set of travelers on the top screws on the gold screws. So hopefully that helps you out with some information if you were coming here to figure out how to wire in a uh, four-way switch, or not wire in a four-way switch, but how to install a four-way switch. So there's all your information. I'll try to go over a line diagram of all this, how this works and what that looks like in another video coming up here soon. Um, as always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And uh, check the description down below for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much, God bless, and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.